Hello, student. Uh, today, topic of lecture, general osteology. Plan of the lecture. First question. Uh, the skeleton and significance of skeleton. The bone as an organ. Third questions, classification of bones. Four questions, architecture of a long bone. Next question, development of bones and uh, the human skeleton. <clears throat> skeleton from Greek dried. Uh, skeleton is a complex of bones that and possess mechanical important. The bones Latin ossa form the skeleton of the body. The adult skeleton is made up of nearly 200 single bones, which are connected by joints. The function performed by the skeleton are divided into two large groups, mechanical and biological. Mechanical functions include protective, uh, this is, it is um, a skull and vertebral canal support the inter-skeletal system. Biological function, functions is associated calcium reserve, uh, the inter, entire skeletal blood formation, the entire system age dependent. Bone, bone as an organ um, of the living organism consists of several tissue, tissues, among which bone tissue is most important. Bone consists of the organic substances, the bone cells, the inorganic matrix. Organic substance. The bone consists organic substances. The uh, the type one collagen, osein, osinectin, and various gly glycoproteins and proto. Uh, glycans and components that promote calcification. The elasticity of bone is determined by osin. The bones of young children contain greater amount of osin. In contrast, in old age bones become less elastic and more fragile. Inorganic matrix is contained salt such as calcium, phosphate, magnesium phosphate, and calcium carbonate, as well as calcium, potassium, and sodium compounds, which chloride and fluorine. Ninety-nine 
the center of the body is calcium, results are bound in the bone. This, this is equivalent to one calcium in a human body. Only one person is not bound in bone, but is found also in the blood or muscles. Organic substances and organic matrices um, form a composite. Its mechanical properties depend on the ratio of the individual components. The bone cells, uh, the bone cells, the bone consists next cells, osteoblast, 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 bone, bone matrix, dome matrix, bone matrix, and osteocytes, osteocytes, uh, osteo, osteoblast young cells, osteocyte, a functional activity cell, cells. Next, this is osteoid. This is, you see, osteoid, osteoid. This is, you see, bone tissue. Uh, osteoclast, you see osteoclast. You see, um, this is uh, ruffled border. You see ruffled border of osteoclast. Uh, this is, you see, bone, bone matrix. This is osteocyte, osteocyte. This is, you see, multiple nuclei, nuclei and of the osteoclast, osteoclast. Um, this is uh, um, osteoclast um, resorbs bone matrix, resorbs bone matrix. Um, osteogenesis, this is osteogenesis or bone formation and osteoclasis bone resorption are influenced by various factors uh, such as mechanical load, hormones, hormones growth, fac growth factors, matrix molecules and uh, cytokines. Kindness, cytokines. This is, you see, um, bone resorption. Uh, it is uh, formed, uh, forms um, new bone matrix, new bone matrix or gross bone matrix. Uh, classification of bones. Uh, the bones are divided into types based on their structure of their appearance. This is long bones, osa longa, short bones, osa brevia, brevia, flat bones, osa plana, irregular bones, os, osa irregularia, at the Latin, name, Latin name, air field, filet bones, also pneumatica, and sesamoid bones, also sesamoidea. You see classification of bones. Uh, you see types of bones. Os pneumaticus, os longum, os breves, os saplanum, os saplanum. Uh, 
uh, the shape of bones is uh, genetically determined in uh, contrast their structure depends considerably on the type and um, amount of mechanical stresses acting upon them in this respect bones are formed according to an economic construction principle with minimum of material a maximum of strength is um, I achieved minimum maximum principle every bones is composed of a compact and spongy substance substance compact and spongy the tube of long bones is the optimal architectural element for a body that is subject to being being hollow being hollow inside and flexible inside and flexible in all direction high peripheral tension inside their own natural fiber no tension the light weight construction is particularly evident then one considers the weight relation the bones account for only 10 percent of the body weight the muscles are 40 percent long bones have is our line of compact of compact or cortical bone cortical bone sub, substantia compacta substantia compacta substantia compacta or corticalis consisting of osteon 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 and lamella and lamella and lamella and the inner lightweight construction due to trabecula trabecula is substantia spongiosa substantia spongiosa cancellous uh, cancellous what cancellous or spongy bone trabecula trabecula with interposes interposes spaces filed with the bone marrow or medulla this you see spongy spongy tissue tissue spongy tissue this is uh what an this is spongy tissue what you see this is compacta substantia compacta compacta substance this is spongiosis. This is proximal epiphysis. This is uh, caput of femur. It is uh, it is long bones. Outer layer of compact or or cortical bone. What do you see? Cortical bone. This is you see periosteum. Periosteum. This is perforating fiber perforating fiber this is you see uh, external circumferential lamella circumferential lamella this is a um, plane of uh, tissue bone this is you see osteon what you osteon uh, have uh, some um, plane what any plane this is osteon uh, you see uh, central canal of osteon in the vesicle vein and artery e, uh, you see uh, trabecula of spongy bone spongy bone uh, this you see this is perforating canal or Volkmann canal canal Volkmann canal this is havers 
Haversian kennel. This is um, the wall of bone. Wall of bone. Um, what, for example, spongy bones. Uh, this is natural bone. Uh, this coronal section through the proximal end and of the adult femur showing the characteristic structure of the spongy bone. What the, you see this is um, and <clears throat> architecture of long bone. Uh, regardless of their absolute length, late, long, bones are divided into diaphysis, diaphysis, and what you see, epiphysis, epiphysis, and dia diaphysis, Latin. Um, epiphysis, proximal epiphysis, and the distal epiphysis. Uh, this epiphysis, epiphysis proximalis, and epiphysis distalis are covered by articular cartilage on their end. What cartilage? Cartilage. Uh, between epiphysis, between epiphysis and um, Diaphysis, diaphysis lies the cartilaginous growth zone, epiphyseal gap, during the time of land, land growth. The metaphysis, proximals, and diaphysis, this metaphysis um, distalis. The metaphysis is um, directly linked to the growth zone or line linea epiphysalis. Linea epiphysalis. It represents the zone of the bone formation or stogenesis emerging in the course of the growth. You must know this uh, classification. Epiphysis proximalis, what on a linea epiphysalis, this is um, epiphysis proximalis, epiphysis distalis, distalis, a metaphysis distalis, metaphysis proximalis, apophysis, it's the next. This is, you see, substantia, substantia spongiosa, substantia, substantia compacta. These cavities medullaris. You see periosteum. As bone, bone protrusion of prominence are referred to the apophysis. What you see, apophysis. They are formed by the insertion of tendons and ligaments and have their own ossification centers during development areas where the bone surface is not smooth but rough are referred to as roughness tuberosity at the tuberositas latin furthermore the osseous 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 combs or ridges at the crista lips labi to is at the crista Latin labia, Latin and rough lines, linea, linea, uh, Latin named, linea. What do you see? Uh, this apophysis. What do you see? Apophysis, apophysis. All the different types of roughness. Uh, so and con as connection with muscles and ligament. Depending on uh, its use, the thickness of the bone and the ratio of compact, compact and the spongy bone will be adapted. The medullary, medullary 
cavity, cavitas medullaris, cavitas medullaris is filled with bone marrow uh, that also extend between spongy bone trabecula. The plate-like structure of flat bone allows a distinction between uh, and other and inner cortical layer. This is um, outer and inner cortical layer, the compact substance. We spawned a bone in between. Spawned a bone in between. It is occipital bone. This is spongy bone. Uh, on the flat cranial bones, the outer layer of subst substantia compacta, substantia compacta is referred to as lamina externa, lamina externa, lamina interna. The substantia spongiosa, spongiosa is referred to as diploe, diploe, diploe. Diploe. This is, you see, diploe. It is occipital bone of cranium. Uh, the, mm, <coughs> the whole spaces uh, of pneumatized air filled bones are lined with mucous membrane. Mucous membrane mucous membrane. This construction, which only found in cranial region, is a useful means of minimizing the weight. What you see, ethmoidal bone and bone at ethmoidalis. You see cristagalli, cristagalli, uh, cribriform plate, lamina cribrosa. Uh, this is, you see, uh, lamina orbitalis, what you see, lamina orbitalis, this is, you see, lamina perpendicularis, and uh, you see uh, concha, you see concha. Uh, this is ethmoidal bone, uh, this natural bone, natural bone. Извините, пожалуйста. Next bone development, osteogenesis. Uh, osteogenesis. Uh, histogenesis of bone occurs by two processes, uh, intramembranous and endochondral bone formation. First, intramembranous bone formation is a process by which most of the flat bone, uh, for example, parietal bones of the skull. What do you see? Parietal bones and os parietalis, os parietalis of the skull. This is flat bone. Um, events of intramembranous bone formation. Uh, you see pictures. Uh, this is uh, first period. Mesenchymal cells, mesenchymal cells of the pres in the presence of the vascular with vascular zone, condense into primary ossification center, differenti differentiate into osteoblast. What you see, this is mesenchymal, mesenchymal cells differentiation into um, osteoblast. You see osteoblast. It is primary ossification center. And begin secreted, um, secreting osteoid, osteoid in raise hap, hapas heart, uh, haposet, haposet, uh, man forming primary bone, primary bone formed 
primary bone. As a position, a positional bone, a positional bone grows continue and osteoid calcifies. Uh, osteo osteoblasts become trapped in their own matrix, matrix and become osteocyte. Uh, this center of developing bone are called trabecula. This is fused, uh, fused spicules, fused spicules, fused spicules. This is form, forms intramembranous bone formation uh, from uh, mesenchymal cells. Fusion of the bony, bone, bony trabecula produced spongy bone as blood vessels invade the area on the undifferentiated mesenchymal cells become hemopoietic cells forming blood cells of the bone marrow. Uh, the periosteum and endosteum develop from portion of the mesenchymal layer that don't undergo ossification. Mitotic activity of the mesenchymal cells gives rise to the osteoprogenitor cells, which undergo cell division and form more osteoprogenitor cells or differentiation into osteoblast within the inner layer of the developing periosteum. Finally, some of intramembranous bone become remodeled into lamella bone and into spongy bone. The lamella bone. What do you see? This is Haversov canal, canal, Haversov canal. This is osteoblast, this is osteocyte, this trabecula of bone, trabecula of bone. Uh, next, endochondral bone formation. Endo, endo, endochondral bone formation is process by which long bones are formed. Endochondral bone formation begins in segment of hyaline cartilage that serves as a small cartilage model uh, for the bone. The two stages, stages of endochondral bone formation involve the development of primary and secondary centers of ossification. There's two stage. And primary, primary and secondary centers of ossification. This is uh, st um, stage A, endochondral bone formation requires the presence of hyaline cartilage model. This is model of hyaline cartilage. Uh, next state, uh, vascularization, vascularization, what you see, vascularization of perichondrium, perichondrium of the diaphysis, what you see, uh, into uh, cavity of uh, model. Result is the transformation of chondrogenetic cells, chondrogenetic cells to osteogenetic cells. Hence, formation via intramembranous bone formation of the subperiosteal bone cola that quickly become perforated by osteoclastic activity, osteoclastic activity. Chondrocytes in the center of the cartilage 
hypotrophy, hypotrophy, and the lacuna become confluent. Then the uh, superiostal bone, cola, what you see, cola, increase in length and wide. The confluent lacuna and uh, are invited by a peri periosteal butt, periosteal butt, periosteal butt. Osteoclastic activity forms a primitive marrow cavity. Cavity, uh, whose walls are composed of calcified cartilage, calcified bone complex, bone complex. The epiphysis display the begin, beginning of the secondary ossification, secondary ossification centers in epiphysis. Uh, their superiostal bone, periosteal bone, is now large enough to support the developing long bone, so that much of the cartilage has been resorbed except for epiphyseal plate, epiphyseal plate, epiphyseal plate, and the covering of the epiphysis. Epiphysis. Ossification is in the epiphysis from the center, from the center, uh, through the vascular periosteum, vascular periosteum, what on, periosteum, does not cover the cartilage on uh, surface. Blood vessels what you see, blood vessels enter the epiphysis without vascularizing the cartilage to constitute the vascular network around which spongy bone will form. Um, blood vessels, what do you see? Blood vessels enter the epiphysis without vascularizing cartilage to constitute the vascular network around this spongy bone will form. Um, our next question is at a skeleton structure. The skeleton has bilateral symmetry and segmental structure. The skeleton consists of more than 200 bones. The skeleton uh, divided into axial and incremental. Uh, the axial, axial uh, skeleton includes bones, the vertebral column, the skull and the thorax. The incremental skeleton includes and the bones of upper and lower limbs. Oh, do you see ske mm, human skeleton? Human skeleton uh, include a skeleton of the trunk, skeleton of the trunk, skeleton of the head, skeleton of the upper limb, upper limbs, and the skeleton of the lower limb, lower limb. Uh, 
This is a vertebral column or columna vertebralis or the spine. Consist 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 of separate bone segment segments vertebra placed one away another in the series. They are short spongy bones. Spongy bones. The spine acts as axial skeleton, axial skeleton, su uh, supporting the body. It's, uh, uh, it protects the spinal cord and spinal cord enclosed, enclosed in its kennel, in its kennel and takes take part in the movement of the trunk and head. The position and shape of the vertebral column are determined by the upright position of man. Common feature of the vertebra in accordance with the three function of the spine. Each vertebra has the following feature. You see this is vertebra. Vertebra uh, has body, corpus vertebra, arch, arcus vertebra, two uh, pedicula, what and you see, Peduncule arcus vertebra, vertebra foramen, vertebra foramen, spinosus process, spinosus, spinosus process, processus spinosus, this is you see processus transversus, this mistake, sorry, uh, this is processus uh, transversus. Uh, superior processus superior and uh, superior and uh, this is inferior uh, processus articulat articularis what you see superior and inferior and you see uh, notches notches at uh, you see incisura incisura superioris and incisura inferioris. It is structure of uh, vertebra. This is common, common feature of vertebra, common. Body, this tran processus transversus, this corpus, processus transversus, this is um, processus articulatis superior and inferior, and processus spinosus, this is, you see, this is um, foramen vertebral, foramen vertebra. This is pedunculus. This is arch, arcus. The, uh, the, the skeleton of the trunk has some, you see some part, no, some part, the vertebral column have uh, a distinctive size and shape. This is cervical, cervical part. Include five, uh, include seven vertebra. This is uh, C1 and five. Thoracic part include, include uh, 12 vertebra. This is uh, thoracic, one, the 12. Lumbar part, Lumbar part. This is five vertebra. This is sacrum. Sacrum in, include five vertebra. And coccygeal part include this is one uh, or four vertebra. This is you see left lateral wife and posterior wife. Uh, 
this is the, the skeleton of the head. This skull or cranium of all vertebrates is divided into two parts. Uh, you see cerebral cranium, neurocranium, and uh, visceral cranium, cranium viscerale. Uh, the school cup of uh, vault or calcavaria, 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 and base and base the bases are noted in cerebral cranium. Uh, the uh, human cerebral cranium consists of the unpaired occipital and part and part bone. Unpaired bone. Uh, this is um, at unpired. This is os occipitalis, os uh, os frontalis, and uh, you see. Um, Ala major of sphenoidalis, sphenoidalis, um, and etmoidalis, etmoidalis, uh, and pyre temporal, and pyre bone, it is uh, um, temporal, et os temporalis, and parietal bone, and parietal bone. This is os frontalis, os occipitalis, os sphenoidalis os par, os sphenoidalis os etmoidalis sphenoidalis and paired pair bone this is os temp, os parietalis os temporalis it, it is a uh, pared bone uh, the visceral cranium cranium uh, is formed by the pirate bones and the unpirate bones. The pirate bones, this is, it is um, up, the upper ja, j, no, jaw bone, this maxilla, maxilla two os. Uh, this is, uh, you see lacrimal bones, os lacrimalis, os lacrimalis, os nasalis, os zygomaticus, os zygomaticus, os palatina, os palatinum, uh, and um, unpaired bone, you see vomer, vomer, mandibla, and hyoid bones located in the, uh, located uh, between muscles of neck, uh, anterior surface of the neck. This is um, os hyoideus. You see pictures of base of the skull. And you see uh, the, uh, the base of the skull externum and um, base of the skull internum. Um, you see uh, this is next bone. This is at the os frontale, os sphenoidale, uh, os temporalis, os occipitalis, and os etmoidalis. Etmoidalis, eta os sphenoidalis. Um, you see os occipitalis, this is os temporalis, it is os uh, uh, sphenoidalis, this is vomer, this is palate, this is os uh, vomer, uh, this is you see um, os palatina, and uh, you see maxilla and zygomaticus. Uh, next, uh, 
a skeleton of the limb. Skeleton of the upper limb uh, include includes the shoulder girdle, include the clavicle and scapula, and scapula. Uh, the skeleton of the free upper limb, the humerus, humerus Latin, the Ulna, the radius, the capus, the metacarpus, and bones of the finger, fingers, fingers. Uh, you see next picture. No, that you see. Uh, What uh, Latin uh, the skeleton of the limb at a cingulum membri superior. You see it at cingulum membri superioris. Include this is clavicula, the clavicle and scapula, and skeleton of the free upper limb. This is humerus, this is uh, ulna, reduce. Capus of the metacarpus and finger. No, uh, this is um, uh, you see what you see at a cingulum membri superioris, Latin brachium, brachium, antebrachium, ant, you see brachium. Antebrachium, you see a carpus, metacarpus, phalanges, Latin. It's a, it's a part uh, of, of body, of corpus, the part of body. Um, uh, what do you see? Uh, clavicle, clavicle, you see this is scapula, scapula. Uh, clavicle, clavicula, clavicula, clavicula. Uh, clavicle connect, connects the upper limb with the skeleton. What? This is this skeleton. What? Clavicle. What? Clavicle connects the upper limb with skeleton. Skeleton of the trunk. It um, provides greater freedom of movement for the upper limb. Upper limb. Clavicle has body, corpus, and two ends. The, the sternal, extremitas sternales, and extremitas acromiales. On the lava surface of the acromial end, there are trabecle, trabecle what trabeculum, uh, uh, tuberculum, coronoideum, what tuberculum, coronoideum, tuberculum, coronoideum, and uh, linea trapezoidea, linea trapezoideum. It is situs of ligament attachment. On the upper surface, on the upper surface, upper surface of the clavicle is tuberositas ligament. Coraco clavicularis, 
Coraco clavicularis. This is clavicula. Clavicula. Platin clavicula. You see extremitas sternalis, extremitas acromialis. This is corpus. And on the um, Lava surface, lava surface located to structure for attachment ligament. What you see next part? Scapula of skeleton. Scapula. Scapula. Uh, scapula of scapula is adjacent to the posterior surface of the rib of the rib, rib cage. In the space from two, 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 uh, two uh, from second rib to seven ribs, what this is. The scapula looks like a triangle, shape triangle. Um, the scapula has three edges. This is medial, margo, let, margo medialis, margo lateralis, margo superior. Uh, scapula has three angles. This is angulus inferior, angulus superior, angulus lateralis. And uh, Scapula has the two surface. You see, this is front, this rib surface, and the back surface. This is ribs surface and back surface. The front surface, fasces costalis, This is uh, surface forms the fossa scapularis. What you see, uh, this is um, it, it is um, back surface, dorsum, uh, posterior surface. Uh, this is ribs surface. This is um, costalis surface, costalis. Uh, the posterior surface is divided by spine of the scapula. This is, you see, spina scapula, and divided into, into two fossa, two fossa. Supraspinatum, this supraspinatum, fossa supraspinata, and fossa infraspinata. Um, the site is for muscles, musculus supraspinatus and musculus infraspinatum. This is um, spina scapula and in acromion, which has an articula, what articula? Surface for articulatia with the clavicula. Lateral angle of the scapula has an articular surface. Surface. Cavitas glenoidalis. The articular cavity is separated from scapula by the neck. This you see, cavitas glenoidalis. What you see, cavitas glenoidalis. This is a column, column, or neck column. At the upper edge of cavitas glenoidalis has a tuberculum, this tuberculum, infraglenoidalis, tuberculum, supraglenoidalis. Tuberculum supraglenoidalis is the site of attachment 
of the tem tendon of the long head of the biceps. Tuberculum, tuberculum infraglenoidalis is the site of attachment of the tendon of the long head of the triceps, triceps muscles. From the upper edge of the scapula, 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 locates coracoid process, coracoid process, Latin processus coronaideus, processus coronaideus. Processus coronaideus. On the uh, costalis surface located uh, what fastest costalis, what fastest costalis uh, has fossa subscapularis. Fossa, what on subscapularis. This is three margo, three angulus, angulus, two surface. And uh, next processus, this is acromion, a processus caracoideus. This is incisura superior, uh, incisura scapula. This is what the incisura scapula, scapula. We next, next, this is um, uh, it, next question, the skeleton of the free upper limb uh, or skeleton membri superioris liberi um, consists of the humerus, the ulna, the radius, the carp capus and metacarpus and bones of the finger. It is, you see, humerus. Uh, humerus is the long bone, is long bone. The humerus is a long arm of movement. It is, it, this, um, the humerus bone consists diaphysis, diaphysis, metaphysis, and epiphysis proximal, epiphysis and distal epiphysis, and apophysis, apophysis. Upper end, upper end, upper end, or proximal end, has spherical articular head. Caput, you see caput humeri, which form forms a joint with cavity glenoidalis of the scapula. The anatomical neck, anatomical neck, what you see, anatomical neck, separates the head of the bone. Near, near. The anatomical neck, there are two muscles tuberculous, tuberculous, apophysis, large tubercular, tubercle, uh, you see tuberculum myus is located laterally behind the anatomical neck. Small tubercle, tuberculum minor is located anterior to the large tubercle. Bone reach for muscles, for muscle attachment. Go down from the tubercles, from the large, the tubercle forms crista tubercle, tu, the crista tuberculi, crista tuberculum, majoris from the small tubercle Crista tuberculi minoris, between 
tuberculum minus and tuberculum minus, minus located sulcus intertrabicularis, sulcus intratrabicularis. Below tubercles located surgical neck, colum chirurgicum, colum chirurgicum, colum chirurgicum. Вот она, you see, colum chirurgicum. The body, body has cylindrical shape at the top and triangular shape at the bottom. In the middle of the body, of the body, there is tuberositas deltoideus. Tuberositas deltoideus. Tuberositas deltoideus. Tuberositas deltoideus. Uh, to, vi to which the deltoid muscle is attached. On the distal end Not on the no, on the posterior surface on the posterior surface what you see of, of the on the posterior surface of the body of the bone passes a flat groove of the radial nerve nerve this is sulcus nervi radialis sulcus nervi radialis in form of Gently spiral, sp spiral. The lava end, the lava end, and distal epiphysis of the humerus condylus humeri. What you see, condylus humeri. Um, it is um, what you see at the epicondylus medialis, epicondylus lateralis. The epicondylus serves at attachment, attachment point for muscles and ligament. It is apophysis. The medial, the med medial, what you see, medial apophysis, medial What do you see? What is it? The medial epicondylus on the back side has sulcus nervi ulnaris. Sulcus nervi ulnaris. This is sulcus nervi radialis. This is, it is sulcus nervi ulnaris. Between the epicondylus, there are articular surface. Articular surface for articulation with bones for the forearm. It's uh, divided, it's divided into two parts. Medially light located trochlea. What do you see? Trochlea humeri, trochlea humeri. And, uh, and capitatum humeri, and capitatum humeri. This is trochlea. And capitatum. And capitatum. Uh, next. You see bone. All forearm are long bones. The forearm is formed by two bones. The, the ulna, you see ulna, uh, and radius. Ulna and radius. Ulna lies on the medial side, medial side, and the radius on the lateral side. Ulna you see ulna, uh, the proximal 
значит, Ульна has two ends. This is proximal epiphysis или proximal end and distal end. Distal end. Uh, proximal end has two processes. This is processus ulnaris and processus coronoideus. Between processus Processus ulnaris and processus coronaideus locates, located in cesura trochlearis. Trochlearis. Uh, it, uh, processus in cesura trochlearis uh, shows to articula with the Trochlea of Humeri. On the radial side, radial side of the corono coronoid processus coronoideus, processus coronoideus is uh, lo located in cesura radialis, radialis, in cesura radialis, the place of articula articulatia with the head of the radial bone radial bone, the caput of radi, os radi, radi, and in front of the coronal process, processus coronaideus, in, uh, uh, in front of the processus coronaideus, located tuberositas ulna, you see, tuberositas ulna, uh, the place of attachment of the tendon of uh, tendon musculus brachialis, musculus brachialis. The distal end of the ulna has round, has caput ulna and uh, processus styloideus is the process of stila ideus uh, head, which is called the caput of uh, ulna, has the articular surface, surface around the entire entry, circumferentia, what is circumferentia, articulatia, circumferentia, the place of Articula articulation with newborn radius. Newborn, newborn radius. This is, you see, os radi. Os radi. Proximal end has caput. Caput. With circumference, articul articulatia, circumference, and neck. Neck. And tuberositas radia. Tuberositas radio. And uh, distal, distal end of bone, uh, the, no, bone of radi, what? Bone. This is distal end, uh, or this radi. Include, includes uh, processus styloideus and uh, facies, facies articularis carpia, carpalis, facies articulatia carpalis. Between uh, ulna and radi located inter osseo. This is interosseous space, located interosseous space. 
Uh, next bones of the wrist and hand include, this is capus, metacapus, and uh, bones of uh, the finger. Uh, the hand has two surfaces. At the dorsal, dorsal back and palma, and palma. Bones uh, of the hand divided into bones of the wrist, uh, carpus, metacarpus, uh, Latin metacarpus, and phalanges. Uh, metacarpus include five bones, eight bones. Um, Osa carpi include two rows. This is proximal rows and distal rows. Proximal include from um, large, um, from lateral, this is os cafaideum, os lunatum, os triquertum, os pisiforme. And um, second row, this distal row, os trapezium, os trapezoideum, os capitatum, Os hamatum. This is proximal um, row include four bones and uh, distal row include four include four four bones. Metacarpus include five bones. Every every uh, metacarpus bone. Uh, include this is basis, this is body, this is head. This is basis, uh, cor corpus, and uh, caput. E next, this um, part also digitorum include uh, phalanx, uh, phalanx distal, uh, phalanx with proximal phalanx, this is uh, distal phalanx between located uh, proximal phalanx. Uh, every phalanx has corpus and caput and basis. Those are basis and corpus and caput. Uh, uh, today, election finished. Goodbye, student.